guys, I'm Alina with Awakened Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. For those of us whose ancestors hail from the British Isles, today's saint is particularly important and particularly revealing to the division of Christians there. Saint Oliver Plunkett was born in County Meath, Ireland in 1647 and studied in Rome to become a priest. During this time, Catholics and Protestants were intense adversaries, something that continues to haunt the body of Christ to this day. Because of this, Saint Oliver wasn't able to return to Ireland to minister to his people for some time until he was appointed Archbishop in 1669. A few short years later, the religious persecution worsened to the point that Archbishop Oliver and his fellow priests went into hiding to protect their own lives. According to letters found, despite the hunger and discomfort of living in hiding, he still found ways to serve his people and stayed faithful to his calling. He eventually was captured and brought to London where he was given a hasty trial consisting of an entirely Protestant jury. They found him guilty of alleged treason and he was hanged and drawn and quartered. Today, his head is lovingly on display in Drogheda, Ireland, which is personally really intriguing to me because I had an ancestor from Drogheda. The unfortunate rift between Catholics and Protestants is still vast and deep. It spans for generations and misunderstandings, pain, and heartache is hardly forgotten, especially with people whose lineage comes from places of such passionate discord like the British Isles. I remember being raised to see Catholics as non-Christians. For my family lineage, the division was very much alive and kicking even after having left England for North America back in the 1600s. As I began my own conversion into the Catholic Church, I realized that many things I thought Catholics believed were actually misunderstandings. Had there been a healthy dialogue between Protestants and Catholics, perhaps so many bombings and wars could have been avoided. The word diablo or devil means to divide. What greater tragedy than to divide the Bride of Christ against herself? These wounds between Protestants and Catholics long to be healed. There have been countless atrocities done by both sides that shame our Lord's desire for His Church to be united and holy. If you're a Protestant, consider digging deeper into the early church writings and saints. Allow yourself to ask questions. And if you're Catholic, live the faith well. So often as a Protestant, I found my prejudices against Catholics Catholics proven right. Simply because most Catholics I encountered didn't have a true relationship with God and didn't fully know what they actually believed. So let's continue to pray for the Bride of Christ to be healed and brought to full unity in a world that so desperately needs her. Saint Oliver Plunkett, ora pro nobis. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.